What's up, y'all? I got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. I'm pretty weak-willed because all it took was falling in love with a man, and now I'm like, not really. I mean, I'm a feminist, but like, kind of. I don't really need my maiden name. I don't really need it. I like your last name. Better. She went back to factory settings. <laughs> better anyway. Like, I'll just take that. I know he can do his own laundry. I know that he can clean the house, but I want to do it for him. Mm. I want to cook all his meals. I want to make sure he's getting all his whole grains, all his vegetables. I want to make it. sure he's getting all that protein. He has not asked any of this of me. It just kind of naturally kicks in. Like these instincts just kind of come out of like, oh. She literally went. I'm telling. Like I said, man, she went back to factory settings, bruv. <laughs> So what happens when these women, it's their natural instinct to nurture and take care of a man. Why do women run away from this so much? This is where feminism has just lied to all these modern women to say that you're independent. You don't need a man. What are you independent of? You're independent of a man. We need each other. We're better together and together we're better. I think life is all about building meaningful relationships. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being in a relationship with a man. Especially if y'all are both on the same level, you might as well. What else do you got to look forward to? Women want to have children. Men want to usually typically have a legacy. Like what else is there in this life like that's so that's so important for you? Even the rich people want to be in relationships. It's just how it is. She said, Mary, Mary, I'm moving to Vegas. He helped her pack. I love it. Close that door. We're done. If I close the door, we're done. Yeah. What does that mean? What I just said. That's what it means. If you close the door, we're done. And you closed the door. <laughs> you weren't even going to ask, like, what it means, like. So we're done. What does that mean? You close the door, we're done. That's what it means. I done as a relationship? Take it how it is. Ah. Bro, on to the next. When a woman gives you an ultimatum, just leave, bruv. Oh. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Don't you open up my door. Oh. Straight up. I gave him the ultimatum and I told him that if he didn't propose to me by December 31st at 11.59 that I was going to leave because I feel like I do all the wifey duties with no ring or no sign of commitment. And so you, you gave him a baby. Single mom. <sighs> This is why I say marry before you carry, bro. Why'd you give him a kid? You've, he's getting everything. He's getting all of the perks of you being a wife without having to wife you. Why would he do it when you're giving him everything? Two kids and I literally do everything. And Two after kids. all these years, I feel like he knows, he should know already if he wants to marry me or not. First off, if you're going to tell me you have by this date to marry you, you can leave. Because I am not going to marry you when you tell me to marry you. I'm not running on your time to propose to you. And I'm away. Men control access to relationships. Women control access to sex. Ladies, why did you get with this guy and let him blow his cheese in you? <laughs> not once, not twice, but probably multiple times. And give him two children. You gave him the highest honor on this planet. This is why I say marry before you carry. Stop letting these men get you pregnant and giving them, high, giving them the highest honor on the, on, in, the, in the world. Giving them life. And he doesn't even have to wife you. Why would he do it? You're doing everything. You're cooking. You're cleaning. You're raising his kids. You had his kids. Why would he marry you? You can just be a girlfriend forever. And what's going to happen? You're if not you, going to propose. If you leave, then you weren't meant for me. I thought I was going to force this man to propose to me. You can't. For three months, he was like, do what you got to do. You want to move, move. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car and we put <laughs> stuff in the trunk and I just started crying. It. I'm like, you really gonna let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. Well, it's we don't do ultimatums, ladies. Men, don't do ultimatums. Because and, and it's it goes back to the whole thing of like women trying to have leverage in a relationship. When a woman gives you an ultimatum, she's just trying to have more leverage than you. She's just trying to say, hey, my feelings are more important. What I want out of this is way more important. So I'm going to put this roadblock, this ultimatum in front of you so I can have more leverage. Don't let them have more leverage. Women are hypergamous. They don't want to have the leverage. They want to know that you are the best possible mate for them. So when a wom woman gives you an ultimatum, just bid her adieu. Help her pack her bags. Let her get on out. I almost biggity bet you she's going to stay with you. I, doubt, I highly doubt she's going to leave. Where else is she going to go? She's been with you for so long. What's she going to do? Especially if she's giving you a kid. She's a baby mama at this point. Single mom. Does she really want to be a single mom out in these streets? Ooh, it's not fun. She's a runner. She's a track star. She's going to go on to the next man hoping he can be her hero. I can be your hero, baby. And the thing is, ladies, once you start giving these men kids... It gets harder and harder to get back out in these streets. These streets ain't forgiving. And the thing is, the next man's going to look at you and go, why didn't the last man have to marry you? Oh, you didn't require that out of him? 
well, why are you requiring it out of me? I'm not going to pay a higher price for another man's safe game. you got to be out of your freaking mind. Married, how did you get your significant other to see the value in getting engaged and getting married? So many responses to this are so mean for no reason. I'm going to be so real with you. I was there. That was me. I am you. You are me. I am she. Okay. The year is 2018. I am letting a man walk all over me regularly. I'm dating for two years. I was done with dating. Gave me anxiety. I was made to settle down as a human being. I'm just somebody who wasn't built for like being in my teens and 20s. Never was. You're a modern woman. Just say what it is. I had a really, really difficult time. Specifically with dating. My grandparents got married at 15. And for my whole life, I was convinced that was going to be me too. But so here I am. 2018, dating for two years. Not that he was a bad guy. I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. <laughs> he was not showing signs of wanting to settle down. You know, and a lot of things felt one-sided. I was doing things that were like wife material, cooking dinner every night, nightly meal, having it stupid jokes I didn't think were funny, going out to parties just because he wanted to. You know, typical semi-pick-me stuff. Okay, and I really thought that being kind of submissive was going to make him like realize, oh, she's- Keyword. Being kind of submissive. You see how she's doing this all on the condition that she thinks she's going to get married? This is why I say, ladies, stop getting into the, these relationships with men and not talk about this stuff. Have these conversations. You could be a freaking adult and say, hey, you know, we've been dating for a year. Do you see the potential for marriage for, for us? Or are you not looking to ever be married? And if he's not looking to be married, just end the relationship. Stop playing these games. Stop thinking that just because you're cooking every night and rubbing his feet and doing all this stuff and going to these things that he's just going to wife you up. Stop assuming. You know what assuming does? It makes an ass out of you and me. Assume. Ass. You and me. Start talking. What happened to people being adults? Like when your grandparents were children, like 15, 18, like my grandparents that got married when they were 19 and 16, I almost bet you they were talking about marriage. They were talking to their family, they were talking to their friends, and they were talking to each other about these things. Why aren't we talking about this? Why are we playing these dumb games to try to just like hopefully get somebody with the hocus pocus energy? <laughs> I guess it's Halloween season. Hocus pocus energy to say like, well, if I do this, he'll marry me. You don't know that. Have the conversation. Be an adult. It's really that simple. Loki, you know what I'm saying? Does somebody want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Bring. Go to your place. It's so wild to me, bruv. It's my material. Looking back is insane. Okay, and I'm going to tell you the breaking point that changed my entire life and his. One night, I was just sitting there. I was so sick of people pleasing. I was so anxious. I was so exhausted. But I finally realized that this wasn't working for me. This is that whole like tit for tat, like nickel and diming. I'm sick of people pleasing. When you do things selfishly, it feels like you're people pleasing. When you do things selflessly, it just feels good to do something good, right? It's like the difference between somebody uh, like you helping someone move and they don't pay you versus you helping someone move and they pay you. When you don't get paid, you're doing it selflessly. When you're getting paid, you're do it, doing it selfishly. These women get in these relationships. Goodness gracious, our head is bigger than my dreams here. But... When these women get in these relationships, they're doing things selfishly. It's very tit for tat. Well, I did this. He should do that. An eye for an eye makes the world blind. If you go into the relationships like this, then they're never going to be beneficial by the end of it because you're always hoping you're going to get a reciprocation of some sort that's matching the same effort you're putting in. And if you're always looking for a match of effort, you're always going to be let down. This is why I always say when expectations get set and then they don't get met, people get upset. It wasn't about like what I could do to make it work more for him so he would want to marry me. It was that this whole situation was not working for me. It was making me... And I almost biggity bet you this next rant is going to be me, 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 I, 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 my, my, my. It's going to be ridiculously selfish. Let's just see though. It just was lowering my self-esteem. It was just bad for me in general. You see so many guys and girls, to be fair, say that giving ultimatums is manipulative. It's not okay. But girls, I am here to tell you. I can tell you one thing in your life as like your big sister, weird, slightly autistic aunt. You having a boundary that takes your feelings into account takes what you- That's the problem, is it? <laughs> That's the problem. It takes your feelings. Feelings. Men aren't 
we're not emotional. We don't think about feelings first. We think about logic. You want to get to the man, you want to get to a man, talk logically. Stop talking about your feelings. If you always think emotionally, you're always going to be let down because you're going to be making decisions based on emotion. And when you don't have logic, when you make decisions, more than likely, you're going to make a decision that's not good for yourself. This is why women typically make these rash decisions because they're very emotional. Like you, you ask a man how he feels. He tells you what he thinks. You ask a woman what she thinks, she tells you how she feels. That's just how women are. You want into account is not giving an ultimatum, even if there's a time limit on it. But I finally sat down, I said, hey, this isn't working for me. I wasn't made for like the dating phase. I hate it, it's making me really anxious and I would really like to be with somebody who wants to settle down that I don't have to convince to want to settle down. I said, look, this isn't an ultimatum. I won't be mad if you don't do this, okay? It's okay. I've been doing this for two years. I'm not going to go another two months without like having an engagement. I'm sick of waiting for this it. Is where, this is where women get into this, um, this serial monogamy. They date Chad for two months. She's a runner. She's a track star. They date Brad for two months. They date John for two months and they date so-and-so for two years and they date, you know what I mean? Like, and then, but by the end of it, they're like, man, I could have just stayed with the same guy, I guess, for eight years. At least I wouldn't have as much mileage. I could have been with the same guy and he probably would have wiped me by now. But these women think that there's just like a time clock, like two years is enough time. I say minimum three years because clearly this woman was ready to head for the hills after two years, and like two months. I'm sick of wanting you to like ask me. I'm sick of being a people pleaser. I'm just sick of it. It's not good for me. Being with somebody who wants to settle down and who wants to be with me is what's best for me. If that's not you, that's okay. I'll pack my bags, but I'm either going to be engaged in two months or I'm going to be with somebody out there who wants to get engaged soon. Entitled, bruh. <laughs> so entitled. And have a family. I want to settle down. And here is the hard part, ladies. You have to mean it. And you say, if you're not going to do this and you don't want that, I'm going to leave. You have to. Tell me you're not over your ex <laughs> without telling me you're not over your ex to actually leave if they're not willing to give it to you because you matter. Oh, I'll give it to you. More. Some boy that you have to beg to see your value. And not even like seeing your value. You might really just not be the marriage type. And that's okay. But if you are, that also matters. That matters. You know what you know what matters is sticking by a man and being loyal. That's what matters. My grandma dated my grandpa for three years. Now granted she was thirteen when they met, but they dated for three years. This woman couldn't even last three years. She's a modern woman. I'm telling you, they just don't see the value in loyalty anymore. Women just want a monkey branch. They, and what's so funny to me is that they think marriage is some like magic pill that's just going to fix their relationship or make everything better. No, your relationship could still be trash. Marriage isn't going to fix anything. It's just a certificate with you and the government, especially if it's not like backed by any religion or anything like that. So like what really... Was a marriage going to change with you being with this man? What was going to change? You can just say that you're his wife now? That's really all that was. That's really all the difference nowadays. The most. So that's what I told him. He said, I don't know if I can do that. And I packed my bags and I left. You want to know what? Two weeks later, he was really sure. Because here is the biggest thing. You won't always get what you want when you ask for it. But sometimes you will. You can't reduce yourself down to this idea of perfection that you think your partner wants. Be submissive to make him want you. To make him want to marry you. That's not how it works. It is not 100% of the relationship. You are 50%. To you, you should be 80%. Your needs should take 80% presidency over his. I told you. Selfish. I, t I, I knew it. 80% her needs, 20% his needs. Weren't you just mad that he wasn't giving enough though? And now you're talking about 80% your needs and 20% his needs? Bro, you can't make this stuff up. She just, this is the hypocrisy. She's exposing herself right here. Not the other way around. If you are with someone who's taking your needs into account 0% of the time, you won't want to be married to them. Because I didn't just come back. He said, okay, I'm ready to marry you. I said, prove it, bitch. He said, I'm done being the one trying. And I'm not going to come back if you're not going to try. I'm not going to come back if you don't want me. And I literally, like, just... Bro, I'd be running for the hills. She's a runner. She's a track star. I'd be running for the hills. Oh, well, first of all, I wouldn't have came. I never begged a girl to get back with me. Baby, please. Just please get back with me. Baby. That stuff never works, bro. It's betas. Beta is all H-E double hockey sticks. But what happened to the good old days? When a woman was just loyal, she'd stick with you through thin and thin. 
when she'd really ride for you when you got down. Days are gone. Proved to myself that he would do things to care, that he would make a good partner. I said, if you want me to come home, you can paint every room in the house the color that I want it to be. I said, you can apologize to my grandma, who, after I left, told me that she understood why I left. It was like a death in the family. I said, you can apologize for doing the behavior that Boy, left. I ain't apologizing to your grandma. <laughs> Gotta be tripping. Stupid. Led to that. I'm just these stupid tasks that really didn't matter, but proved to me that he was actually willing to try as hard as- See how petty this is? These stupid- I want you to paint the whole house. I want you to apologize to my I have been trying. Because the ring doesn't matter. Marriage doesn't really matter. I mean- Isn't- oh. <laughs> Isn't this what you've been complaining about the whole time? The marriage matters and now you're saying it doesn't matter? Bro, you can't make this stuff up. Kind of, but you know what I mean. What matters is that you have a partner who takes your needs and your feelings into account. AKA a simp. Unability. All the time. Not just the one time that you get him to propose to you. And look, this is probably super controversial, but I have kept that energy to this day. If at any point he shows me he does not value my needs or my wants and my peace of mind the kind of life that i my 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 i i i me see how selfish it is. does this sound like somebody that wants to be in a relationship somebody this selfish when you're in a relationship you serve you say Here, here's what i can do for my man you don't think this is what he should do for me she just sounds so she doesn't sound emotionally ready to be in a relationship yeah. chat let me know what you think does she sound like she's ready to be in a relationship i'll be honest she doesn't sound like it i'm packing my bags and I mean it. And you should too. Because you matter. Getting engaged and getting married are not just up to men. I love it. You are 50% of that decision. Right, Your honey. feelings on the matter matter. And you should live by that. If a woman has... Single women keep women single. Boy, how do you can't make this stuff up? The stories write themselves, gentlemen. They really, really do. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see it, though. Because, you know, we, we make fun of this stuff. But the thing is, like, you look at that and just the hypocrisy. Talking about 80% my needs, 20% his needs. Like, what if he was thinking the same thing? What if he was like, oh, it's 80% my needs, 20% your needs, and now you're mad about that? What? You're just as selfish. And you gave him an ultimatum, and yeah, he came back, and, and you still didn't take him back. My grandma, like I said, when they were 13 and 16, she gave my grandpa three years of her life focused on just him. You couldn't even give this man three years. You couldn't even give him three years. Talking about all this, this is crazy to me, bruv. But then she doesn't even sound like she's ready to be in a relationship. She just sounds like she wants to be alone. It's about dating in a hot minute because I haven't been dating. I kind of gave up, to be honest, and for six months didn't talk to a single man. And it was actually quite peaceful and nice. And less Can't drive. make this stuff up. Got the dog in the back. Bro, come on. Yes. Um, I think it just got to a point where... It didn't feel like a good use of my time. Constant poor communication, mixed signals, flakiness, love bombing, then ghosting, all of the things. Like, I just don't understand what's going on. It's like you are going on. That's the problem. That's, that's what a lot of these women don't understand is the common denominator in all these situationships, relationships is a you. So if you're not happy with the results, you have to realize, all right, there's a variable in this equation and it's the men. The common denominator is me. So maybe I should change the way I'm vetting. Maybe I should change the guys I'm going after. Maybe I should lower my standards. Something. But let's see if she says any of that. Is anyone actually having a good time? Because I know it's supposed to be fun, but like she's a runner, she's everything a I see is negative. The other thing too, like everything you see is negative. That says a lot. Tony Robbins has something about this. He goes, look around the room and I want you to find everything. Chat, let's do it right now. Look around the room. I want you to find everything that's red. Everything that's red in your room. Look around. If you don't have red, do brown. Look in your room. Look, everything is brown. All right, you got it? Okay, you ready? Now tell me about everything that was yellow. You have no idea because you weren't looking for it. So the whole point of that is like whatever you focus on is what you see. So if you're focused on negativity, that's what you're going to see. And that's what a lot of these women do. They focus on the negativity and that's why they focus. That's why like that's all they see is because that's what they focus on. I got to a point where I was like, OK, we're going to put ourselves out there again. Let's go on some dates, see how it goes. And I go on TikTok and there's all these girls posting about their first dates they're going on like 100 first dates this year who the fuck are you going on dates with like where are you finding these people language 
Because, like, we're not even getting to that point at this point. Mm. Um, Poor baby. I don't know if we're back to not dating or what. Because, like, just nothing's happening. So, anyways, that is the love life update that nobody asked for. Talk to you later. Jeez, this main character syndrome cracks me up, bro. She really be thinking she is the center of this Disney universe. Loki, go to your place. I need my co-star. She really do be thinking, Doobie Hauser. she really do be thinking that she is the center of this Disney universe. Well, that's the update nobody asks for. It's the vocal fry for me. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I don't get it, bro. It's really so hard to even, you know, it's, it's hard to watch sometimes. It truly is. To rain men doesn't mean fuck all men. That means we are taking the focus off of men and putting it on ourselves. Women, it doesn't mean every man is horrible and every relationship is horrible. Okay. Compared to what I saw in the comments, y'all really think that I said every marriage is horrible and every man is horrible. Never said that, pumpkin. Never said it. I know there are great men out here and I know there are solid marriages. <laughs> I ain't never seen somebody talk like this. The consistency is impressive. Just out here, I just think that it's rare, statistically speaking. These lit people killing y'all, bro. These lit people killing y'all. And all of the goofy men in the comments, yeah, we're we'll sick of you too. You guys are catching up to us. Men are sick of women too. Menly women too. We're not proposing to you. You're a liar, mentirosa. You wanna know how I know you're lying? Because men don't leave. Women aren't getting slapped with restraining orders. Women aren't getting slapped with stalking charges. Women are not the ones that they are aggressors. Women want you to go. <laughs> Bro, women get slapped with that stuff all the time. Stop. Again, the statistically speaking, women can't even fucking exist without being ridiculed, judged, or having to feel like she's not fucking doing enough and that she's not enough. De Aren't you judging men, though? Centering men is putting the focus on women, women taking care of themselves, women prioritizing their peace, women prioritizing their mental health. Doesn't Tell me you're alone without telling me you're alone. <laughs> To mean that every single woman has gone through a horrible relationship or women have got brought themselves to a point they're just been hurt so bad they're so bitter and they're sitting alone with their cats even though i got three cats to the right of me and i'll stupid <laughs> <sighs> the stories write themselves <laughs> even though i have three cats like right here i love it please tell us more also, statistically speaking, it is men that die alone. Women don't die alone. Women pass away, transition with their family, their children near them, their friends because they have built communities and their children. Dude, because women just live longer than men, dude. <laughs> what? Have received beauty and love and support from their mothers most times because a lot of time the fathers fall short. So please stall women, single women the fuck out with your bullshit. Let them, even when they want to be single and not bother you, y'all are still fucking pressed. Let, let's say. Can you stop cursing, please? Single women be. Let them exist in peace. Let them light their candles, drink their wine, kick their feet up, hold their cats, feed their dogs, enjoy their motherfucking lives. And when they Go get their lip injections. Don't forget that. A man, they'll get one. And if they don't, they won't. To the loo, motherfucker. It's clear that many. This is crazy to me. I wonder why she's single. <laughs> Seems like a very suitable woman there. All right, let's hop into the Reddit. Goodness gracious, alive, my man. Single by choice. Um, call me Des Levi. I think you'll love this. I've not watched it fully because I like hearing your comments. Let's check Yo. this out. Who is this? This is Alpha Central. What's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. All intended towards any individual featured in this video. Are you more interesting than you look? <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the mind eye of the beholder, man. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. <laughs> okay. Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. Absolutely not. No. It, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. <laughs> always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some things, yes. In other things, I like to uh, take my time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
god dude this show is so good um i'll have to react like this is a good this is an alpha central one so i'll actually react to this entire one um here's a is there a short here facebook facebook let me see if i can't even oh I, bro i ain't even logged into facebook um let's see if there's another clip here Reformed independent boss babe says nothing better than becoming a mother. I was raised by a single mother. I went okay. to college. I got my degree in statistics, which is a male dominated field. I got my job at Visa and at the age of 24, I bought my home in the Bay Area, which is an expensive market. Mm -hmm. Good for you, honey. It just proves to you that I worked my butt off to mm -hmm. get what I yeah, had. You... After I bought my home, I proceeded to remodel the home with my own two hands using YouTube oh, tutorials. So like literally I did not need a man. I did the manly work. I scraped a popcorn ceiling. I put in a full laminate floor i learned how to use a table saw and not cut off all 10 fingers right <laughs> so like i proved it i did the thing i proved that i can live this life without a man and i'm telling you it is not fulfilling because mm -hmm. at the end of the day i was sitting in an empty home absolutely miserable that i was alone so i need a man to fulfill my greatest potential in life which is to become a mother yeah, there is nothing yes. that's better yeah. than becoming a mother and having that legacy and when you find the right man who wants to have that legacy as well you will want to submit to him that is hey preach need to see more of that need to see more of that ladies absolutely beautiful great clips um we'll react to some more cultural news always bringing in the heat um des solid I'll, des i'll actually respond i'll actually react to that entire video and we'll put that one on youtube um but loki did you have a good time today I wanted to say thank you guys so much man the channel's been growing like crazy uh, my old pc kind of shot the sheets on me um so i had to get a new one so some things may look a little bit different i had to do a rerun yesterday so i appreciate y'all's patience but um i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like comment subscribe loki did you have a good time i will see you guys tomorrow man peace